and do one sample from each part of the concept builders that are going to be due on Monday. You're going to log into your account. I'm going to go as a guest because this is not my main computer. You only need to do two of the three uh, to get an eight out of ten. <coughs> and it's light bulb anatomy. I gave you a recommendation um, in the directions for what section of physics classroom to look at. I also may make a video um, either Friday or over the weekend to show you what this actually looks like with a real light bulb because the diagrams aren't that great. All right, so I'm going to do, do this. And all I'm going to do is do one example from each one so you get an idea of how to do this. So you need to do two of these three successfully for an 8 out of 10, three out of three successfully for 10 out of 10. Do Monday. So let's do one example of these. So the key the <coughs> things for a light bulb to light are a different potential difference so that means hooked up to both positive and negative uh, to a battery as well as positive and negative on a bulb so the bottom of the bulb is where one of the wires would have to go the side would be the second so this one is going to ask you which arrangement would result in a lit bulb this goes from the positive this connects to the negative but it's going only on the side here so the bulb itself won't light unless it goes through the side up through the filament and then down through the bottom. So this will not work. This one here, the negative is attached to the bottom of the bulb, so then that can go up through and off to the side of the positive. That seems like it does work. Here, this is just goofy. That's not going to work. So that's okay. I am not going to continue. I'm going to go back. <clears throat> I'm going to start again. <coughs> the second one. I wonder if it will make me go back to the other part. We'll see. So I'll do one example of the second one. Hey, it remembered me. That's nice. So pathways. All right, so this is a nice close-up. So this is where one um, part of the connection would have to happen. This is where the other connection would have to happen. So essentially, it says it's hooked up from A to B, uh, and it takes charge from A to B. So what's got to happen is this light has to come in here, or this electricity has to come in here. It actually has to, if it was going to light this bulb, it would go through the filament here and out through the bottom. But if the wire is coming in the side, basically this is going to be a short circuit, meaning this bulb won't light, but it'll go straight through here. This will then go up through the filament and out through B. So in this case, bulb A or bulb 1 will not light because it's short-circuiting this. It has to go through both the bottom and the side to light a bulb. So I'm going to say only bulb 2 will light. Uh, why is that not lit? Oh, I see. Okay, so no, not going to go through the filament. Not going to go through the filament of 1. That's what's going to happen. So I think I had sort of drawn that before. So, and that's good. And again, I'm going to get out of that. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do one and the third one. It should recognize me. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. All right, so you got to read these questions pretty carefully and note that all three of these bulbs are lit. So it says, at which location must a second wire be connected for all three bulbs to be lit? So what's got to happen is for this bulb to be lit, it's got to come in through the side, go up through the filament, and then down through the bottom. For this bulb to be lit, since the current's coming up through the bottom, it's going to go through the filament, has to go out the side. And this one, it's coming in the bottom of the bulb, has to go up through the filament and out through the side. So I think location C is the correct answer. So here, 
here to there. And that's good. So that's my example of how to go through these. They're all a little different, so you got to be careful.